Hi and welcome. In this video, we will learn a tough file concept that is present in SQL Server log shipping configuration. This is one of the frequently asked interview question in SQL Server. By the end of this video, you will know what is a tough file and where it is located and why or when it is created and what is its impact on log shipping configuration. I have already made a video on log shipping configuration. If you haven't watched that video, I will leave a link in the description. You can watch it from there. Also, you can find this video in the card section here. We can configure log shipping in two different modes, no recovery mode and standby mode. I have already configured log shipping, conf uh, log shipping for one of my database in standby mode. So here you can check the present mode of the database, whether it is in no recovery mode or standby mode. So you can check it from the primary instance. So since the database is in standby mode, it is available for read only purpose. The user can connect to the secondary database and can read the data. But if we configure log shipping in no recovery mode, the secondary database will be in restoring state and it will not be available for read only purpose. When we select or when we configure the secondary database in stand mode, the tough file will be created. Okay. So what is a tough file? It is a transaction undo file that contains transactions or modifications that are not committed on the source database but were in progress when the transaction log was backed up. So these uncommitted transactions will be stored at the tough file which is present in the secondary server instance. So that users in the secondary database should not read the uncommitted data. So when another transaction log is restored, SQL Server will fetch the records for the transactions from the transaction undo file and check with the new T-log backup whether the same is committed or not. If it's committed, the transactions will be written to the disk, else it will be stored in transaction undo file until it gets committed or rolled back. Let us assume we have one server with primary database and another server with secondary database. And we have got two transactions. One is committed transaction and another is uncommitted transaction. We don't know whether this transaction is going to commit or not. So when as a part of uh, log shipping, configuration when a T log backup is initiated at this stage and restored at the secondary database then only the committed portion this will be written to the secondary database the uncommitted portion will be stored in a tough file and it will go and sit in the tough file and wait for the next T log backup so at this stage if this transaction is rolled back and then log backup is performed and before restoring it at the secondary database SQL server will fetch the uncommitted transaction from this tough file and check with this log backup that is going to be restored at its secondary database so that it contains some information about this uncommitted transaction since it is being rolled back this is not going to be written at the secondary database for suppose if this uh, transaction is committed then it will go and check with the tough file since this new log backup contains information of this transaction and this is committed this will be written to the secondary database this is how it functions and it will make sure that no uncommitted transaction is being read by the user in the secondary database okay we have seen when and why is it created during log shipping configuration at standby mode the tough file is created and location of tough file is same as the location of your trn files on the secondary server or you can also find this tough file where your secondary database ldf file is resided so in my case this is my secondary server instance I will show you the tough file location. So my LDF file and data files are located in C folder. 
at the default location. Program files, cool server. So you can see this is my database file and this is my tough file. Here it is located. And what is the impact of tough file on log shipping? We have already seen what is its impact. It will uh, ensure that no uncommitted transactions will be read by the secondary database. And committed data is moved to MDF file and committed transactions is moved to tough file. If this tough file is missing, we cannot bring up the secondary database. So you have to maintain a copy of this tough file when you are doing any migration or some kind of thing. Okay. So there is also another file which is WRK file. We'll see about that in our next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos.